Today we're going to take a look at the Glen Y School, what it became after all these years. This was a school that I started when I come to Suriname from France Guiana and this was my school and let's go inside and see what it still is. Hello, this is Puck in Suriname. Yeah, yeah, I was saying in Suriname and I'm going to show you my old school. When I was seven years old and I came from French Guyana, my parents used to live in French Guyana and I came with age six and a half to Paramaribo. That means that I had to start in the second class of, uh, of the school. So I want to show you, this is our school. And unfortunately, Mrs. Wise, because this is the Glen Wise uh, school, um, she's not alive anymore, she died at very high age. And this was our class. This is the first class that I started in. I, I feel really bad to see that it's like this. And in fact, I don't know, I, I would love to, to do something here because I've been here since 1970. In 1970, I started in this class. This was my, my class. I remember if I close my eyes, I I feel it. Yes, sir. I will do. Thank you so much, man. This uh, this man is uh, he's in fact taking care of the school now because he well not really taking care but he uh, is allowed to let the horses uh, be here on the school. But this is the Glen Wise School. Unfortunately, um, Mr. Wise is not alive anymore. And it's really sad uh, that this school, in fact, yeah, nothing is happening here anymore. It's really sad, really. We have three horses here. Hello, Hope and Liefde. These guys are the protectors of this land. Hello. And this was our class. And here we used to stand with our friends every day in, in the lunch breaks. So this was the second class and then here we had the class for the smaller children they would be here and here as well this was uh, for the for the young kids as you can see um teddy bears this is this is really hurting i, I i'm not sure if i'm i'm gonna allow this to happen I, I, I'm, I'm not sure if i'm gonna allow this to happen and here we even have uh, a painting I'm not sure what's on the painting and it's saying uh, die zijn plicht met blij gezicht en lust verricht uh, valt alles licht that means he that um, is positive will have a positive life that's what it means okay and here we would have the third class class 3 and this class, I also, uh, this was my class. I was here in this class. Uh, I'm not sure if the door, no, the doors are closed. And you may be like, why is this? And why, um, well, that's because Suriname is a very hot country. And, and when it's hot, in fact, yeah, you, you, don't, you don't need all that heat. This was also the third class. I think this was my class. This was the third class after, you know, I passed class number two. I came to class number three, okay? So this was my class number three. I remember my mom <laughs> getting really pissed one day here on one of these uh, uh, people that are, you know, a woman that was uh, giving uh, lessons here and she treated me not so nice. She said something bad 
and my mom did not like it and my mom came in the class and she she slept she slept the 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 teacher she said you know what happened i was you know before we were writing with um with inked inked with a kind of pen that you had to dip into into inked I, i'm not sure how you say ink and then you know but i was always getting my hand blue of the ink you know I, I i made a mess of it really and then she said um that i came from a pig family and then i came home i said yes she said that i we come from pig family so my mom said really that's what she said Hmm. So, so suddenly we saw my mom coming into the class. She didn't say anything. She walked up to the teacher and she slapped her three slaps in the face for saying that to to me. And my mom is my mom was not easy. This was the fourth class here, and you can see it's it's kind of wow. It's kind of a mess. It's very sad to see this here like this. It's it's kind of hurting me. Okay. I want you to know that I, I feel really sad now. I feel awful to see this. I wished we could put some money together and fix it up, you know. And this here, this was my other class. This was the fourth class. And I was in this fourth class. We had 4A, 4B, 4C. So these, these were the higher, higher classes, the bigger children. And this is my class that I was in as well. This was the fourth class and i used to sit right there somewhere there and probably if you're gonna look somewhere on these tables you might even see my name that i scratch my name into it here you can see some books you see that this is a abandoned school really i would love to go inside but we cannot it's, it's locked you see that so yeah this is kind of hurting and up here, uh, I think we could put our bicycles. I'm not even sure anymore what this was. I think here we could put our uh, bicycles. And this was the fifth class. I used to sit in this class. This was my class. And this was not, there was no uh, uh, thing like this, uh, scutting. Um, this wall that you see was not there, okay? And this was the fifth class here. I spent my fifth year. Uh, at school and I remember one day I was I was very smart at the time as well one day um, I had to do uh, some uh, not an exam but we had um, how you call this that you must do some uh, repetition we say repetition maybe rehearsal I don't know you get points for it and I, I messed up the day so what did I do I did not bring in my paper I went home and I, I, I came back in the afternoon when I you know made all the answers right I, I came back and then I just slide the paper in here so the teacher would find it on the ground and the teacher would think oh that she probably lost it and then I, I still got the eight eight and that is very good so i didn't uh, make sure that i, I still made some mis little mistakes and then at the fifth grade here um in fact something happened uh and my mom did not want me to stay here anymore it was just something that i did i was not always uh listening to good i was very rebellious and then this was the sixth grade and then, in fact, I did not make it here. You know, I stayed here for the, I, I failed that year. And then, um, um, I don't know what happened. I did not finish the sixth grade here, but I finished it at the Tamenja school. And there I passed to the high school. So in fact, yeah, they were saying lots of things at that time, but um, it was my fault. There was not the fault of, of any teacher or whatsoever i was just not behaving too good and this was a school that you had to pay to be here this was not a, a school that you could uh, be free freely uh, here you know you had to pay every month and i remember that my mom was paying 25 guilders every month and 25 guilders that was about 50 uh, euros what we have now for 50 euros 
and that was a long time ago so in fact yeah here I'm at <laughs> this is so old this is from my time you see that it's all all old this is uh, yeah what can I say this is very old this is what you see here yeah so yeah in fact I want to say uh, to my old teacher the owns the owner of the school mrs. wise I want to say rest in peace mrs. wise uh, I want to thank you for all the years that I I was allowed to to be here at school and to you know learn everything that I learned I I feel I feel kind of a little bit not really emotional but I feel I was this 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 small when I was here I was seven years old and this tree was not there and with heavy rains the field would be all drowned with water so in fact yeah that was it um, so I, I yeah I have good memories from here I don't have bad memories not even one and and really I had a great time being here at this school this seats you see this tree is giving these seeds and the seeds here you can plant them again and then they will grow so here this will grow I hope that mrs. Weiss her soul will once in a while be here and find somebody inspire somebody maybe me to make it a school again I would make it some computer school a YouTube school maybe YouTube Google could help me instead of you know all the scam going around instead of killing channels they help to build and create future students I would love this complex to be some YouTube complex where we could have youtubers coming to and to make this uh, kind of uh, a school for Suriname children where they can come and where they can learn how to be become a youtuber how they can become a filmmaker how they can uh, teach other people's whatever they know uh, all these things I would love to do and I'm gonna also say bye to the horses bye baby bye bye baby bye you're so sweet I love you bye and you too bye bye my friend bye bye thank you for being a friend for me thank you for being so nice so that's it uh, the Glen Wise school and I hope that mrs. Wise that she um, can see that I'm here now and that I feel very sad that she's not around I say goodbye Glen Wise goodbye my dear I love you too so that's it we will have to climb uh, over the sweating I'm gonna do it in an easy way I don't want to break my neck that's it we take a last look at the school and to my friend uh, Glenn Glenn Wise he used to be on my Facebook but I changed my Facebook around I want to say Glenn uh, you can always contact me I don't have a lot of money but I do have a lot of inspiration and know-how so maybe you and me together we could do things like a musical school you're also a singer just like me uh, you make music I also do video works we could teach the youth to become you know producers and and video creators to make this country even more better and 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 do fantastic projects all these things we could do here uh, at the Glenwise school for this uh, time being nothing is happening here everything is yeah just fading away I think mrs. Wise she's in heaven and crying to see her school like this and me myself I'm I'm kind of sad now so um, not gonna get any emotional here but 
just letting you know that if we can find some good people to help this grow again and 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 become something again i'm gonna be there as well to help do that thank you for watching this was the glen wise school short review 2017 puck in suriname adventure in suriname episode 8